Hey guys, it's Pope. I am walking into my last training session here in SoCal before I leave for the Arnold tomorrow. Yesterday I, no wait, Monday. Today's Wednesday. Uh, Monday I hit some openers that felt super easy. I am not really sure what I'm doing on clean and jerk yet, but I worked up to 95 and smoked 85 snatch. I think that's around where I'm gonna open for snatch. cleans twice since I hurt my hip so we might be going kind of conservative on those I'm gonna kind of see how the warm-up feels see how my last two workouts feel got some spooky snacks and rockstar the lemonade one is so good this, this is probably my favorite one so yummy feeling good feels really nice to be going into a meet without cutting weight I'm lifting heavy at the Arnold because everything's based on Sinclair not weight class so usually I'd be really stressed out and <laughs> things would just be a lot different. I don't even feel like I'm competing because I'm not cutting. But yet I'm traveling. Usually if I don't cut for a meet, it's just a local one. So I have a feeling I'm going to be like feeling super strong and energetic. So I'm really pumped to see what I pull out at this meet. Even though I've been battling an injury, I'm ready to hit a huge snatch. And I'm excited.
packing for a long trip is literally like my worst nightmare. It's not going very well. I'm heading to the Arnold tomorrow, leaving bright and early. Then I am going home from Ohio all next week. I'm so excited to see my family, see my little sister. I have a 14 year old sister. I cannot wait to hug her neck and my mom and see a bunch of my friends. Pumped to be going home, but I hate planning and packing. <laughs> While I'm packing, I'm cleaning out my gym bag and making sure I have everything I need in my gym bag for the meet. Uh, I'll kind of show you guys laid out what all is in my gym bag, basically on a daily basis because I will be training all next week when I go home too. So I need everything I use during training every day also. My mobility tools that you've seen in my other videos, the Rogue Ball, it is the smaller, no, wrong. It's the bigger version of the ball. They make a smaller one than this, and I just use a basic lacrosse ball that's similar to the small one of the Rogue Ball. I have my slingshot hip circle, and then regular band. I use both of those for glute warm-up activation stuff. I have a regular TheraBand, which I use for shoulder warm-up. In the gym every day, I like to use um, the resistance bands and the ones with like the handles on it to do my shoulder warm up which i'll do a video on some upper body activation stuff at a different time but when i go to meet i don't have access to those so i bring the plain their band with me so i can just wrap that around a pole and do a lot of like shoulder activation stuff before i start my bar work for snatches i've got basic pulling straps nothing fancy they're just cloth headphones um, I use the tape from Average Bros to wrap my thumbs and I use Power Dot all the time for recovery. It's a super simple uh, way to get some recovery in while you're traveling because it's so small. I have a voodoo band. I use it mainly on my quads and I've been using it on my hip. I have worn the same lifting shoes since I started. These are Romaleos that I've written all over and they squeak like crazy. I don't have the new fancy shoes like everyone else. <laughs> I've got lotion and Tylenol just in case you need it. Uh, usually it would be coming the other direction. I would need this. I get super dry skin and the bar irritates my hands like crazy. When I first got out to California, my hands were blistering like crazy because I'm used to being in Georgia where it's really humid and out here it's like no humidity. So it's like huge change for my hands. My knee sleeves are by MB Slingshot as well as the hip circle. Wear a belt made by Pioneer Brand that is custom for the Juggernaut team and I love it. I was wearing a Velcro belt before this but I made the switch and I really love this belt. I have my singlet, which is my virus. I like to put it in my gym bag, which is my carry-on, just in case uh, my checked bag got lost. I always like to make sure I have everything I need for the meat with me. So if I lose my regular clothes, it doesn't really matter, but I can't lose any of this stuff or I wouldn't be able to compete. So I make sure I have everything I need for the meat with me on plane. And then lots of snacks for the flight. I brought some peanut butter filled pretzels and the Quest bar collection, basically one of each, the regular protein bars and these are the new uh, cereal bars that are super tasty. And I'm gonna do a little bit of food prep. I'm going to make some chicken and a ground pork skillet for the flight. I'm doing some low carbs tomorrow because it's a rest day, so I'm trying to really plan it out in advance. Be sure and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.